There is my uh, paragliding bus. He's already here. I don't know what he showed when I was down there. <laughs> Probably like, dying on a cliff or something. So what do you think, Andrew? Uh, no, I, I, I thought you'd landed okay. Yeah. I don't think anything... I don't think you'd do anything else but land okay. Yeah. Is that what the I question can do? was how you got there in the first place. Yeah, that was a bit tricky. I, I will explain everything later, but yeah, I'm not sure if I've got enough uh, battery and time here to talk, but I will explain the whole situation. Okay, let's do some explanation. So yeah, we had a bit of a strange day. So forecast was showing it will be increasing from early morning and then to late evening. So there should be slowly progressively increasing the wind. So it should start about 10 miles an hour and finishing about 15. So in that day I had um, seven tandems and I started early morning about 10 o'clock and I was waiting for my special tandem. 
my special wheelchair tandem for first time I was flying that special tandem. So in the first part of the morning I done two passengers. Everything went perfect as you're expecting. You're just going up and down, and I was waiting for Hadi to turn up because she was a bit lost. And then when she turned up, I got the time to just set her up, and my helpers just helped me with the set the glider and everything. And we went for our flight. The forecast wasn't as a planet, so the wind slightly was dropping all the, all the time I was flying with the, the wind was slightly dropping, dropping, dropping. So that's why on the first flight I can't do much because she wanted to do something over, she wanted to play, so I didn't didn't have much playing full time. So as I landed I gave the option so we can go for second go, but when the, when the wind will increase, so after half an hour we managed to end the flight. Everything that was planned, as you will see, the first part uh, when that wing over was quite strong, so that was really nice. And when I was approaching the cliffs for the higher cliffs, then uh, I would like to leave D to fly a glide herself so she can experience how the paragliders flies. So I would like more height because it's much easier when you are quite higher and you can um, get and talk through the passenger what he need to do and everything is in a safe manner. And uh, yeah, but I didn't manage to climb over the uh, behind the E. I dropped down and I just used the landing spot. The safest landing spot I can choose on that time was landed right on the bottom of the beacon because if I will be aiming for landing to the beach probably that will be uh, dangerous because we was coming downwind and there are massive big rocks so if the wind will drop even more and that was risky I will be landing on the rocks and stuff like that so it's not nice landing full speed with the uh, downwind leg and straight on the rock, so that's why I choose the safe option that was landing down to the beacon and I knew on the point I won't be able to walk her out because she is disabled and if she will be normal person like not disabled we could just actually just walk away with no calling any service and stuff like that so yeah any brakes on this one the brakes are off this one Okay, if, if someone will just put a leg over here, or something. But this one I has can, to help. I, I can lift my top half. Yes. Can I, I would... take my legs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. One, two, three. Nice. Well, with Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, so let's see which, which way this one goes. Okay, this one is uh, the ch chest. It's just only one thing. There's one chest trap. Yeah. There is. It's good. That looks good. We are secure over here. And that one just probably yeah. zips and in. Just to and just could... do anything, you know? No, no, no. No. It's all supported. In fact, when you fly in, these bits are going to be lifting you. So. Does that make sense? Yeah. So here, the main glider will be, and then. It, Basically, you can hold anything around you, you can fly with the hands, you can do whatever you like. But never ever touch these uh, buckles. Think... Right, okay. Because uh, and, uh, that <laughs> may by accident open and we don't want. But anything mm. else, happy. Well, and you should be nice and warm, this looks nice and cozy. Gold, gold so we will see how clear, it will go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's what we did with Eddie. Yeah. Yeah. So what I will do, I will, I will get ready. So be comfy for 2-3 minutes. Then I will walk over there. It's looking like that's kind of stable airflow. Yeah. Okay, give me two minutes. Yep. Okay, so okay, it's a little bit windier. But now we've got a special tandem with the wheelchair over there. We are in the Eep. Probably I'll be flying already here. My lady's coming over there. That will be my first flight with a special buggy. So we will see how I will handle. Hop. It's, it's now getting a little bit in the air. Okay, that looks good. Check that one. That looks good. Okay. Okay, if, if we can come somewhere here. So let's put that one. Uh, keep my hands still. Uh, yeah, we'll keep our hands like this. That, yeah, that I'll be fine. So, did, 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 is, is it painful? No, it should be fine. Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay, this way. 
lock lock okay that's correct okay that, that, that would be interesting I don't know how I look. probably I need to put that one up straight away yeah and probably I need to do front launch because I won't be able to turn <laughs> because we got that one here so okay this one will be front launch yeah M maybe yes yeah. so can someone go each here and take a and a and c a and c yes. maybe with the launch as well because i can't turn here yeah, because i'm uh, th th this one's stopping me from turning because i can take the brakes yeah. i will be controlling the brakes if you can hold your a's and c's then when the glider will be above the head i should be able to be yeah. C's or D's? A, a and the last ones. Yeah, the D's. D's, sorry. D's, yeah. There's four, yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. That's it. Uh, okay, so what's the wind doing? Wind it's a little bit from a right, so probably the glider will try to shift. Okay, let's try to slightly turn downhill. Try to open the leading, e leading edge. In a raise or both? Just one. In a yeah. right. The big one. Because you, you you will put the wing tip first and that will collapse. On this one. Oh, well, uh, we've got one hand free. Push the baggy. Yes. Okay. Are we ready? So okay. Three, two, one, go. This is always difficult with two people, as you can see. Already, the left side will be going up quicker, so it will be collapsing. Let go. Let go. I always doing my inflation on my own, but in this situation it was really difficult. But I just realized the cobra lunch okay. probably that is always the best way. Okay, I will do the cobra lunch. I will let it go. Well done. That's how we need to do the next time, cobra. All good? You okay there? Yep, we're okay, all clear, all lines clear. Okay, I it's not lifting much. Peter, this chin is a little bit close to this chest buckle. I can't do much with the with the thing. Or do we've got a pillow we can put under Just don't want that to be in the way of chin all the time. That would be garroted. Oh that would be garrotty, wouldn't it? That would be garrotty, yes, I was gonna because I will be like this, I guess. Yeah. Is that good or is that bad? Normally, somebody would be sat up a bit higher. Because when I stand here. Have you got anything we can put in under and let it die? I've got my wheelchair cushion, but it's quite heavy. heavy that's that's I think not a problem. Be better with that. So yeah? Where is the so okay, so I, I will drop the wing tip down. So hold the buggy yeah. without tipping. I will bring it down. Where is your cushion? Helen's <laughs> uh, um, yeah. bringing it. Ah, great. That'll bring, bring you an up, up another inch or so, which is plenty, I think. That's what it is, because she's so short and the head was too close. Yeah. Right. Yeah, because that will be. The nice lady. You can okay. one again. Our arms out first. Yeah. Yeah. There we are. One, one first. Yeah. I'm going to whip this in under you. Yep, good show. Now we're ready, John. Are you alright? Yeah. Right. That's it. Well done. Lovely. Okay, all good. Oh, that's going to be better, isn't it? Okay, okay try now. Are you much higher now? Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah. For, yep. yes. Yeah, please do. Just make yourself comfy. All, all good? Yep. Okay, arms, left left arm, right arm. One at a time. One through, and there we are. The other one? Up, 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 up. That's it? Okay. That's much better than bringing back a strangled pattern. Okay, we will do the cobra launches again. It is fun. It's good. Yeah. It will. Can you hold that one so one uh, go on her head and I will try bring it up. That wing tip in the air. That one just spread slightly, but not much. That's it. Ready? Yeah. It's coming. Let's go. All right. Okay. All right. That looks okay. How it looks? Uh, brilliant. Looks good. Yeah. Looks good. Looks good. All in good shape there. Do you want us to push? Uh, probably yes. Have we already lifted up? Look like. Okay, let's go faster. 
a bit more faster. Okay? Maybe here, D don't fall from the cliff. <laughs> no bad. How do you feel? Yeah. All good? Yeah. <laughs> First time in a proper wheelchair. It's quite comfy, I like the feet I can put down. Okay, let's climb a bit here. So nothing strangling you, yeah? All good? Okay. Nice. Okay, we've got 80 doing some wingovers, so I go away from it because we're making a rough air. Nice, nice, nice. So you can wave if you want. Beautiful. And we've got nice views here. And we'll go that way. We've got seagull flying in front of us. Nice. And now I can just sit a little bit comfier. That's it. How do you like it so far? Yeah, brilliant. Can I do any steering though? Yes, I will in a minute, but not yet. I will go higher yeah. on the other cliffs and then you can do some steering. Right. That's perfect. Okay, let's fly to the other cliff and then I will give you steering, yeah? Where is it? Yes, there, because there we should be higher. We're getting near the cliff. Yeah, I like this flying really close to the cliffs, it's beautiful. And it should bring us up, we're going slowly up. But I need to watch for wingtip, oh, bit bumpy here. Oopa. But it should get smoother as we're going slightly higher. Make my way in, so I will go a little bit left here, climb a bit higher. Just for our safety. Now you can see West Bay. Oh, yeah. Our takeoff. Okay, we are a little bit more higher so I can go back to the right. Yeah. And now we can try to cross. We should climb a little bit here as well. Okay, we've got altitude, so let's go a little bit faster. So far it's working good. Someone landed on the rocks. Yeah. So we'll come back before we land on the rocks. So it's not working as as I thought it will be. No. So let's see if we can come back. No, because that guy was there. There was nothing to lift him up. But it, he landed quite high. So we've got a long way to go down. Okay, I won't be able to go as that high because the wind changed. Come on, nice. Okay, over the edge. Hey. At least we've got some lift over here. Wow. Okay, I don't know what happened over there, but it looks like the people struggling over there. So I'm not sure if we can be able to give you a hand to fly because it's difficult to fly now. It's a little bit lifty here but not much. Okay, I need to go a bit left again. Look left, nobody there. Just slow it down. I quite like these armrests. Like you can use them as an armrest. No, the wind slightly died. Come on, I want more wind. That's Tony, one of our helpers. This one is nice. I'm not sure if I can make it over there. No, it's not strong enough. We, we kind of struggling here. Now we are too low here. There's no way. I will be able to cross over there. And I don't want to land on the rocks, there is no beach to land. Yeah. So I need to stay as safe as possible. Yeah. yeah, but the wind should be much stronger now. By forecast, should be kind of really strong. But something something happened, it's different. Because now, you see, we're dropping a bit, because it's not that too strong. All right! Hey. Hello! Okay, we need to come back. So everyone is kind of going for the beach. So we'll see if we will be able to top land, but I want to top land. Yeah, it's quite comfy this chair. I quite like it. I've got my 
feed rest so I can rest it right here on the air that feel really good the wind change south so hopefully this one will bring us up we've got a video here all right hee <laughs> Okay, we can go a little bit closer. You can see blue aeroplane on the cliff, halfway, right here on the left. Some small child lures the aeroplane. <laughs> sheep over the edge. The crazy sheep. So welcome to West Bay. But I will come back. We will stay on the higher cliffs because that's what is keeping us up. Okay, that's Tony coming back. Now we'll try climb here, hopefully. Come on, winds. We are getting lower a bit. Nice, come on, come on, get us higher, that's it. Because the conditions are pretty light. So I need to be close to the landing spot if that will drop so we can just drop quicker and land. Because these guys can walk from the beach but we don't want to walk. Soon, I will stay here a bit. Because so far the wind doesn't helping us. It's still quite light. And it's getting busier here as well. Okay, come back. And I think we may go for landing because the winds are dying us slowly. It looks like the other guy wants to go for landing, so we will need to give him space. Okay, the next turn we will try to land. No, I'm not. Af I'm afraid we have no enough height for it, and it will be beach landing if we will do so many loops because everyone here struggles. Or let's try small loops here. Okay, let's try. Hey, that was good. Yeah, but we lost a bit of altitude. Come on, in! Come on, in! Pick us up! And I'm, now we will struggle come up. This, this guy, is he going for landing? Is it someone taking off? Okay. okay, we try to land. Hey. <laughs> Then it push up if, if someone can push me up. <laughs> it's difficult, but that one stops you. <laughs> I can't do much because the, the wind is so light, I can't, I can't climb. And someone is halfway through the Falcon Beacon. Maybe he will need a helicopter. Really? Halfway through? I, I think I can still see the helmet. I'm not sure if you can climb down. Uh, no, he was packing his ring, and I'm not sure if he is. What is his name? No, he's not. He's not drowned. He's not hurt. It looked like he was fine, but he, he, I just letting people know. Yeah, I can't stay longer because I was in point. I will be landing on the beach or something. I said, no, no way. It's too, too, too difficult with the with that tandem. Okay, thank you. Quite nice buggy. Okay, we can disconnect you now. Sorry about the weather, but I can't do any playing. I can't do much. You got off lightly, I tell you. Yeah. Didn't, Peter didn't do anything. Like <laughs> yeah, and I knew next time it's just Cobra launch with these buggies. Yeah, and Cobra works really well. Here, the forecast was showing it will be really strong, but it's really light now. Some of you hit the fence. And I've got it on camera. Hopefully, it's alright. 
Yeah, he looks good. How is your ass? <laughs> oh yeah. I've got it on the video anyway. <laughs> Sorry about it, like people start crashing so light. But thank you very much, be a nice passenger. Thank you. I, I can get a hug or something. Yeah, that looks great. Thank Hopefully enjoy it. <laughs> Sorry about it. we can't do much ring overs and stuff, but I was struggling. In there now, oh yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sweaty. And how is, how, are you warm? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, great. Yeah, so really good. Good. I like to, but if you will have a go, we probably will just go on the beach. <laughs> and I, I struggle. Yeah, I really struggle. Swim. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but probably next time, if like we, we can do it again, when it will be another fa favorable day, or it depends. If you are longer, if you're done rushing, or I don't know if your team done rushing, maybe later on I can do one more. Yes. <laughs> For another go. <laughs> you're thinking that, aren't you? <laughs> no, like... Uh, what do you mean by a bit later? Maybe in our time, maybe in, um, I don't know, half an hour, or we will see, it depends. Because when you already travel three hours, and if you are happy to stay hour, hour and a half, and if that will change, you can come again. Or... But, but we never know what the wind's doing. Yeah. This one can be for three, five hours, or in a half an hour, can be good again. Mm -hmm. So I can't promise anything, but if you want to wait, and if you're happy to wait a bit... But it's you guys as well, getting hey, away with the buggy. We've got our sandwiches, we're good. He's we're here, we'll stay here as long <laughs> as you want. You know, there's Selfies. all this entertainment of people, you know, yeah, yeah, so yeah. the fences <laughs> and the games. So please say... Like wait another hour, see what it's like yeah. in another yeah. hour. Yeah, that's and then fine. We can have no worries. Okay, can drink. you tell me how do you like the buggy? The buggy is brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> yes, very comfortable. And do you got any some nice features you like? Probably like this windproof stuff. Yeah, that's very good for my legs, keeping my legs nice and tight. Nice and, secure, and warm. Yeah. And how was the sitting position? Yeah, apart, good. apart from yeah. too low. <laughs> yeah. A bit, yeah, once I've got my cushion in, that was comfortable. But before, yeah. I say I was a bit. Yeah. 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 No, but, yeah. but I guess the comfy, even you can uh, kind of like nice to put a hand there on and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, it was, it was comfortable. Yeah, I didn't feel like oh, where can I put my hands or anything. Yeah, yeah. I was just comfortable. I quite like it too because I, I like these food rests, so yeah. that is really, really handy for the paragliders. Yeah. So it was really nice. And this one is a kind of uh, arm rest as well. Yeah. So when you're flying and when I was holding the GoPro. So I just put my arm over it and I was like when really good. When it goes over it doesn't do anything. When it, like on the ground, if it gets, if it gets dragged sideways and flips. Oh yeah, and this one will kind anything. of stop you from flipping. Yeah. Because that is if going in the ground, yeah. kind of just still keeping the passengers safe. So it's like a Formula F1, the shape. Yeah. Yeah. So you can go even upside down yeah. and yeah. I, I will keep you safe. We won't but, uh, try that, I don't think. <laughs> no, <not yet. laughs> but the landing was really nice on the back wheels. Yeah, it was I was really landing good. like aircraft, like right on the back wheels. Oh, absolutely. And, and, and then just on the front. Yeah, so, yeah the yeah. landing was really smooth. So we will see if the weather will change. We can go for another go. If oh. not, probably next time. Yeah. yeah but Great. so far, thank you being my passenger. Thank you for yeah. being a good pilot. <laughs> Not really. We'll, we'll be a in touch navigator. With you about getting videos and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I will be in touch with you guys. So, go number two, because we were struggling. Hopefully, now the wind slightly picked up. So, hopefully, we can do some funny <laughs> maneuvers. Okay, that looks good. Just. Okay, that one here. These are more adjustable, but we haven't worked out. Uh, from under the seat, you need to go under the seat and then you can pull them a little bit. Yeah, okay, so I will see you on the takeoff again. Yeah, before it was too too low. Yeah. Okay, if any good guy you can take that little bit, yeah. and walk it over there, and that one slightly move it over there. Yeah. Holding this one. You want us to walk it which way? Just that way. Move it, holding that way. 
and be further back there, go, go around the outside. The, 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 the middle part just shoveled that way a bit more, a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. Nice. And this wing is closer here. That's it, that's it. Okay, uh, I was struggling a little bit here. Don't worry. Can someone just hold that one slightly here? Like this, so it won't go over her neck. That, that, that would be nice. And I will bring it up the wing now. Let go. I carefully do my checks and I didn't spot the line going over. So that's why the wing spin. Opa! <laughs> it spins. <laughs> uh, I need someone just... That wing tip the other way. All the way, because we had a twist. <laughs> okay! That's correct way. I need that wing tip up there. Move, move, move that way. Everything, all the wing. I need to, I need to do the cobra with that edge. All the way, all the way, all the way. That's it. And that one into the wind. Good. Good. Okay. You're all good. You're all good. How do we look? Yep. Looking good, Peter. Okay, okay, is it strong enough? How are they doing over there? Oh, starting lifting up a bit. That's good. Okay, the trimmers are... Tr trimmers... Do you want two big trimmers? Uh, well, what do you want? S slightly open them, like that, yeah. S slightly higher. Probably like that, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, let's go for it. The, the guider should start lifting us up. It looks like the bike is already getting. I will try. We touch and go this one until we are closer to the edge. Okay. Okay, you can let it go, John. I should be able to. I like that flying chair. Look at my legs. I will retract them like landing gear. Yeah, we're going again. <laughs> nice. Okay, we're coming again. Back in the air. <laughs> the weather looks a little bit better now. And we're climbing a little bit better now. The, the other guys, you can see them, they are straight up. And we've got nice altitude here. Okay, let's do small swings, yeah? So I will go a bit left. And we'll go a bit right. And a bit left. And up. How is it good? No, no, not so good. <laughs> okay, a bit right. A bit left. <laughs> nice. A painful time. This is much more fun when it's a bit more wind. Okay, we will climb here and we will go on the where the other are, and then I will give you the control so you can control the glider. So how much left to do? I will. I will tell you through. Right. We will just. Yeah, I will tell you through when we will be there. Okay. Nice. Pers close and personal. I like it with the, when the cliffs are a little bit closer. Like you can nearly touch it if you want. <laughs> Nearly there, yeah. Ooh, it wobble, and we should be climbing here again. Oh, here we go. It's a little bit stronger. Okay, this side is working. Come on, we'll see how much we can climb. Because now we need to build the altitude, and then I can do the cross over there. So I need to do a few turns left and right. But so far, it's look possible. This one is a few minutes before my emergency landing, so. Uh, you will see what actually happened from my point of view, so we can see. Okay, let's see. I have a second chance to go over. It is my home site, and I flew this set for many years, and I know exactly where to cross and how high you need to be. And as you see, I've got plenty of altitude here. I will slightly speed up. There is a line, imaginary line. When you're under it, there is no way you will 
across safely but I was still really high and above the line so I could still plenty altitude and actually I've got a little bit lift here we'll see if it's lifty everything seems ordinary as usual I didn't see anything wrong at this point a little bit okay it looks like we may be able to do, do the cross yeah, easier now. The paraglider who landed here is gone. So when you pass behind the corner, you've got always plenty of lift because the wind coming from the ocean hitting the ball and you've got always, according to this one, elevator zone. And when I looked up, I still can see my friends They're still flying and mating their altitudes. And at this point, and when I was looking straight ahead, I was still mating in the line, so there is not any indication of the ocean you're missing a lift. Come on! At this point, I didn't descending. I, I did not really. climb, as you see with this line. I still maintaining same altitude, and uh, I was hoping here when the cliffs little bit dropping, the wind will work in my favor and pick me up. Hope oh, this one is our last chance to come up. Okay, we may land on the beach. Or here on the rocks. <laughs> I don't think so. If it, the weight is so steady, why it won't go up? I just gently drop a bell of the line and I start looking for my landing options. I knew I could still make it from this point to the beach because I'm still in the lift band, but because of uh, the lady on my on the, on the wheelchair, I wasn't sure if I can safely make it to the beach. So let's see from this point, as you can see, the beach is kind of far away and we've got a downwind and there are not any options land because there are massive rocks on the bottom. So if I will just choose beach, that won't okay, be the best we're option. We're going to safe landing. I made my decision early enough to make a safe option. We're going to land on the bottom. I can't climb. I positioned myself early enough into the wind so I can go a little bit slower approach. So maybe it will be a little bit bumpy. But I try land on the grass where it's easier to land. I'm still trying to use the little reach to give me a little bit lift and I was a little bit worried like if there are hidden rocks in the grass I just pass gently one over and I use maximum brake to slow us down <laughs> Sorry about that one but that's the safest thing I can do here but don't worry just wait I will disconnect myself first and then I can disconnect My spreaders was you. stuck over the safety bar so oh. it was very difficult to disconnect myself because yeah, I'm still kind of right? hanging my colleagues were circling about us, so I gave them thumb up. We are all okay. Ah, oh, nice. And now I can move you up. <laughs> I never landed here before. Everything is for first time. But that was kind of soft landing. How do you feel now, good? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we can disconnect that one. So how, why did that happen then? The wind just died. But the important is we are not hurt. It will be a little bit difficult. And we, we've got people already circling and they are becoming down. I was worried at this point about my keen friends because they try to help us and sometimes yeah. when you're trying to help another paraglider you can okay. do the dangerous okay. uh, landings yeah. and you can make even okay. worse okay. and you can hurt yourself so, so he, he when you've got a chance here. land somewhere he else and don't push just is. find a safer option it's quite tall okay roy hopefully roy is safe down yes he's safe so yeah that's our landing spot guys i managed to pack the glider so, passenger is still happy. We've got some people still smiling. still smiling, but we will see how long. Oh, look, the sheep up there. Look, they're standing. Oh, we've, we've got the sheep up there. <laughs> some people watching over the cliff. Uh, we, one glider is gone because we had one glider watching for us, but it looks like it's just died and he has to go somewhere else to land. Roy landed somewhere there, but he need to find a way up here. I'm not far from the beach, but I don't want to land on the rocks because that would be difficult. But it would happen, we've got lifts over that corner easy. And it looks like we can make it over here. I've got plenty of height. We're over this edge. 
and he just died. I can't do anything. And there wasn't any any time to go for the beach. If I will try to push to the beach, we can hurt ourselves. So I choose this nice soft grass, but I didn't realize how tall actually it is. I thought it's just about five foot, maybe no, two foot, but this six, seven, seven foot, probably like three meters long. <laughs> no bad, but we will see how we can get out from here. Maybe by boat or if we can go down to the beach, probably we can just kind of walk it up. We will see. We will give you an update. Help! Help. You go home? So I'm not far away. My friend landed here, but he's gone. We are just three meters here. You can probably see the yellow, maybe, maybe the yellow glider. So there, there is the beach. Probably we will need to walk probably down over there and the boat can take us up. That will be probably the best option. I can see some heads here. There is someone walking over there. I think that we've got another guy coming. I don't know if you can hear me, but I, I saw his head. I think that is Ricky or Richard. Richie. So thank you, Richie, for coming in. But I think it's that way, so we will wait a bit. So it's, it's not far, I'm just here. There is the glider. It's quite a nice walk through here. <laughs> so Richie is coming from that way. But Roy, maybe he made the Royal Half Wave, I don't know. So we will see. So look like we got a helicopter coming and Coast Guard. Oh my god. For <laughs> stupid landing now. But you can't like, park that there, love. <laughs> no, but quite a nice parking. Yeah. I didn't realise the grass is that tall. Oh, I like the hair. That's Ooh. what we should have his but hair. All yeah. good. That would be seen then. Yeah, we are all good. Nothing broken, nothing. Yeah, so, so what they've done is the Coast Guard are coming and, yeah. and the helicopter because there's no way. Here on the beach, we're going to. Yeah, we can't even get there, Pete. Honestly, I've taken everything I've got to get through this lot. Oh I'm walking up to water this deep. Let me just ping the guys so I know where. Oh, we are. Because the helicopter can actually kind of hover and land, kind of. Yeah. I don't know, like the rotor from the cliff. Oh my god. <laughs> Is that Coast Not Guard? In the right place. <laughs> I can hear well, the boat. Are you landing and walk away from? Yeah. I can hear some boat, maybe that's Coast Guard. No. That's no Coast Guard. That, that, that's the thing that you have, having fun. Okay. My gear's down on the beach at the moment. So. So Sorry going? guys about the troubles, but this one was the safest spot to land. Absolutely, yeah. Huh? I landed on the pebbly bitch there. Yeah. A any problems? Yeah. The, the, did, did, you, did you hurt yourself? No. Yes. Did you? <laughs> My toes oh, whacked against the end of the... Ooh. Like... I hit a big rock. You, it's like, uh, you shouldn't some worry the rock, about Some of the rocks are about that size. Yeah. What are your toes like in there? Do I'm not going to look. Might be black. Ooh. It might be okay. It's a bit uncomfortable right now though. So are we going by boat or helicopter? Uh, jelly chop chop probably. Wow, how are They're okay. Great, okay. Good. Yeah, Roy is here and you. So you, you can tell... Did you get the transmission that heli is definitely now inbound? Yeah, Neil got that. Uh, just to confirm, myself on the white ring, on the white wing and Roy on the purple wing are all fine, we're all down with um, Peter. Peter and everyone's everyone's okay, we're all together. Thanks mate, yeah, got that, everybody is actually okay. Um, I, and I think actually the only issue is gonna obviously be evacuating the, um, the disabled person, so uh, we'll see how that goes. And the trolley. Um, John obviously and the trolley, yeah. can't receive you at the moment, so we'll relay if need be. Exciting. Roger. Here we go. The coast guard is approaching. So we will see how they can manage to come down, but keep it with just circling. But that's air ambulance. Because of my landing, bloody hell. They do a good job over there.
are here. Coast Guard cannot help because oh, it's, it's not Coast Guard, it's air ambulance. They doesn't have a winch, so they can winch it up. I thought they will help us to bring her down because it would be that difficult because still on the winch wheelchair. But I think if we can go through the through the water. But we've got another coast got right on the top of the cliffs. Now we won't be able to see them. But they was hoping to bring her up the that way, but there's no way. It's too dangerous. So many rocks will be dropping. My battery is 3%, but we've got a coast guy coming. So we should go by boat, hopefully. So we will see how it will go. So how was your helicopter ride? My helicopter ride was very noisy. <laughs> very, very noisy. Very noisy. What was the same when I came there, yeah. but they gave me headphones. Yeah, that's why I had headphones, good. but it was very comfortable, yeah. yeah. Looked after me well. So are you But you looked after me the best, so. Yeah. <laughs> Shielding me from the sun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I try try to my best. <laughs> yes, my hero. But yeah, hopefully we'll go there. Nice, pleasant drive home. Easy yes, peasy. Yes, yeah, Don't so. rush anywhere. No, I certainly won't. No. <laughs> I haven't got the energy to rush anywhere now. <laughs> but you haven't either. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I'm glad you enjoy a little bit yeah. of overflowing. Yes, it was. But everyone is safe, everyone is alright. That's the main thing. That's, right. that's, that's the, the main, main thing, is that nobody yeah. was injured. Yep. Perfect. Good choice, good learning choice, but yes, just difficult parts to rescue us. Yes. <laughs> It will be just. But you got your helicopter ride. Oh yeah. You, you enjoyed it, yes. Yeah. And especially when you're flying low over the cliffs, right over the ocean, and the views of like, oh, that's good. I was saying though, I see I had to lay on the stretcher, so I didn't get that. Ah. Oh yeah, they keep you on the stretcher yeah, all kept, the time. Yeah, kept me on there all the time. Um, yeah. I told you, did they open it slightly or not? At, not opened at all. it slightly, yeah, on the on the oh, helicopter, God, yeah. but I had to lay there, so. I had probably the longer ride because I was waiting for the other guys. Yeah. So, yeah, that was quite cool. Yeah, yeah. So, there you go. I got your helicopter ride. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. So, yeah. No, this one is really cool. You don't see this one every day. But it worked really well. You just hoist it in. Nice. And you are basically ready to go. So thank you very much for being a, nice, a patient a passenger. No, Sorry you. about the cliff landing. Thank you. <laughs> and not everyone would go to um, this pleasure. Half, wouldn't have been half as much fun without the cliff landing, <laughs> would it? <laughs> no stories to tell. Yeah. Okay, have a nice and safe journey. Yes, will do. Thank you. Once Don't again. rush. Yeah, <laughs> thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Yes, I do too. I would like to say a big thank you to uh, Air Ambulance, the lifeboat which was uh, deployed from Lyme Ridges. There was a crew of four mountain rescues, three people that was right on the top of the cliff watching us the whole time. And the big thank you will be uh, for Coast Guard helicopter and people who actually winch us up and help us. And then I would like a big thank you to our club, done a really amazing job, people involved 
with the, the situation, people who was actually on the radio and coordinating with these rescue services. I would like to say a big thank you guys too. And actually the guys who actually landed close by help us. The big special thank you is to Richie and Roy because they landed and just walked to us. But you didn't see on the video, then John, he turned up down and he bring us water from the takeoff. So he walked long way down, bring us the water and he walked long way up. So John, big thank you too. And one more thing, I was uh, a bit worried when we landed down on the bottom, down to the below the beacon. Um, the people who tried to help you, so is I, I, I saw Roy coming down and landing on the bottom of the beach. And, uh, he tried to land as close as possible so he can help us really quickly. But sometimes it's not the best choice just rush to help because when you start rushing, you start doing the wrong decisions and actually you can get hurt by yourself and probably there will be not just one casualty but few more. So uh, next time if you see some paragliding accident and if you want to help, just don't rush. And especially when you're flying, make sure you've got um, plenty time to make a proper decision. Like sometimes it's not great to land next to the casualty because the casualty probably land where is the rotor or whatever it happened there. So you want to land somewhere else when it's safer. My advice is just land in the safest spot as you can and pack your glider and then you can walk the casualty. Sometimes when you're landing closer doesn't mean you will be there sooner. Like Roy landed next to us but basically he lost sight where we are. He, he have to walk all the way back and then he came after uh, the Richie and Richie actually done the good uh, landing option because Richie was about us circling and uh, he just saw we are perfectly okay and he just went and landed on the beach on the nice safe spot so he landed safely on the beach and actually he walked from the beach and he was there actually sooner than Roy which he have to walk back and then he came back yeah, please, if you see any accidents, just make sure you are safe first and then you can help the others. Doesn't matter how long you're flying the site, EEP, that's my favorite site because it's my closest site and I've got so many hours. I know EEP or the coasts from every single corner, every single wind direction, wind strength, so, and I get caught. It doesn't matter how well you know the side, you can still get caught because every day is a bit different day. You need to always be watching. Not the wind changes, something happened with the wind flow, some bubble around the cliffs or something and I was just bellow well, in the bubble and I get caught and I can't uh, escape. But still make sure you've got a safety landing option, even the, like you can call it an emergency, but you need to be still in the distance to glide and light safe. I've got two options. The beach, I've got still beach in mind, but I don't want to push because that was my first option. Probably the best option for taking us away from the beach will be much easier because our club can just take can take us up and walk us up to the cliff. But because we landed in this situation, I can uh, do... So that was called the emergency services. So what I want to say, uh, don't stick with the first option, just stick with the safest option. And my safest option was just straight turn into the wind, get ready for the approach, got plenty of time to set for your landing. And, and that's why I just went over the ocean or straight forward, straight in the wind, land my, set myself for headwind landing or a little bit crossing landing because we're on the left and I just make the spots and I choose the spot and I land there. So nice safe. If I will choose the beach, that will be everything really tricky and the, everything probably could be in the wars. So thank you very much for watching and hopefully you learn something with me and I will see you on next one. Thank you very much. Bye bye.